Welcome back to my corner of the internet, guys. I am the Lucid Dream, and today we are going to be taking a look at an idiot that we have not seen on this channel yet. First and foremost, though, thank you, as always, to all of my channel members and subscribers. Without you, I would not be here. So, as always, every day, thank you. Let's go ahead and get into it. This should be fun. Oh, sorry, guys. Just checking out the gains. All right, guys, in today's video, you're going to see some officers of the law completely respecting and upholding the Constitution of the United States, completely defending my right to practice my faith as, my, as I see fit. You're going to see some awesome police officers doing what they swore their oath to do. Just kidding, guys. You're going to see the exact opposite of that. You're going to see me, the wonderful Mr. Ghost, get kicked off and escorted off a of public property under the threat of arrest for not taking off the sexy beard. You're going to hear these officers say over and over again that I was on a in a private event. However, I have obtained emails and the city permit that they gave the organization of this event. It clearly states it's a public event open to the public on a public street which Mr. Ghost got kicked out of unlawfully, illegally, unconstitutionally. So here's the So I feel like this guy is more prank channel than he is full on frauditor, but he does check a lot of the boxes. So his description box is interesting. But he claims to have a master's in psychology with an undergrad minor in sociology with many years experience in studying human behavior and interaction. Now, he also says he is researching a psychological phenomenon that he has given the name cameraphobia, the excessive fear of being watched. Now, here's my issue with this, because I feel like someone with a master's in psychology with many years experience in studying human behavior and interaction would understand there's a difference between an actual fear and not wanting to be on someone's shitty YouTube channel. Because there is a difference, a, a very valid and huge difference between the two. So wouldn't you think that someone with a master's in psychology would actually be able to differentiate between those? I mean, because I don't see people running and screaming and fear from cameras. I see people telling them, I don't give you consent to post you to my YouTube channel. I don't give you consent to film me for commercial purposes. I don't give you consent. Masters in psychology. We're going to table that for now. So his description box also completely annihilates any argument he has in this video that he's wearing this shaved rat on his face for anything remotely resembling religion. Under why do you conceal your identity? I am so handsome that if I show my face, all the women would be hounding me for a date. JK. Someone is definitely overcompensating. Our First Amendment rights are not only about video recording in public, but also about the freedom to dress and express ourselves as we see fit. Women wear wigs, so why can't men wear beard wigs? That's equality, my body, my choice. As you see, obviously nothing about religion anywhere to be seen because it has nothing to do with his religion, whatever that might be. I also don't know of any religion where wearing a party city wig on your face is, is part of the practice. If anyone does, please let me know in the comments because I may be wrong. I don't think I am. So here's the proof. Here's the email, clearly from them, the Chamber of Commerce telling me it's a public event. And here is a copy of a portion of the city permit where it clearly says this is a public event open to the public. But I guess they don't consider Mr. Ghost the public. Now, if you consider Mr. Ghost a member of the public, give me a hell yeah! So there's a massive flaw in his logic when it comes to whether this event is public or private. And if you have ever been a member of a chamber of commerce in any city, I think you're going to figure this out pretty quick. But let's see. Thank you. I'm sorry? TikTok or YouTube? Uh, stay on social media. Very toxic. Very bad for your health. Have a good one. 
Okay. Am I on camera? Are you on camera? Yes. Uh, no, you're not on my camera. You're on the the the, the street. You're on the street. You're not on my camera. No, no, no. Like I said, to pretend I'm not here. You're not on my screen. Uh, what do you mean on my screen? Well, my camera's pointing that way. So I'm documenting this uh, big hats event. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, I guess I get against. I mean, if the supervisor tells me, I get, I'll do it. But I mean, what the hell? What do, I, what do you want me to do? Am I detained? Yeah, we'll tell two press against you. Yeah. I'm detained. For what reasons? For just wearing a fucking number. What happened? I mean, you want to see me want to talk to the supervisor, right? Yeah. Okay. What do you want me to do now? Wait, wait for the supervisor. What, what happened? What's going on? I can't wear the mask. You can't wear the mask? That's, that's the only reason. She's the complaint. She complained about your mask? She said, I don't like your mask, so you can't wear it. I'm going to call the cops out. Because it's Trump or just because it's a mask? It's Trump. Yeah, Everybody's going to be locked. Yeah. You radio it in a mask? No, I didn't radio it. Yeah, well, someone, someone put in a complaint. We just followed up on the complaint. Yeah, the city that's all we're doing. had a complaint. So, so our supervisor okay. told us to ask him to take off his mask. That's it. And he refused. But he's so. in a public space. Why would he have to take off his mask for someone else? A, a private event. This is a private event? Yes. On a public sidewalk? That's the rule, not all of okay. us. So you know. Who, uh, who's the private event is it? That's why. Well, that's why. I said what I said. That's cool. You're still in America, whether this is an event or not, right? Yeah, I'm gonna be over there. America. You know what I mean? This right. Is our country, when there's rules and we have to where, apply with fire. Where can we? Where, where can I find the rules? I don't know. Look it up. I guess. Well, I know? did. I went on the website. There was no rules against masks or anything. Oh. And you know, it was just calling into us. That's all, and we're doing our job. Yeah. So if I don't like, if I don't like his shirt, does he have to be detained and take it off? His shirt really offends me. National champions five times. That hurts my feelings. I actually like that shirt. It's natural. Bro, I like his mask. Yeah. But it's not my call. You know what I mean? Well, I've got. Someone else is a higher superior. That's all, bro. That's kind of weird. Kind of weird. Everybody reports that nowadays. You know what I mean? Everybody's loving this man. I don't know what they're doing. They just want to know who you are, but it's none of their business, right? Yeah. yeah unless, yeah. unless you committed a crime. I don't know. But what? Why would you take their side? Former farmers. So he's exactly he's lawfully detained. I wanted the supervisor to come here. He's waiting for the supervisor to come here. Right, but is he lawfully detained? Why does it matter? Because he didn't commit a crime. Right, but is he free to walk away, whatever he wants? That's what I said, I'm going to be arrested, what's going on? Just ask if you're detained. I did. He well, said yes. He's legally detained? He won't say yes. That's what I said, am I detained? What's going on? It's all the comments right now. see if it's full. It's up to them. It's up to them because it's private property. This A is private event. Private event. A private you know, event. Dozens of people wearing masks. So we can just complain about someone's mask and they can get kicked out. Discrimination. What if he's horribly disfigured and he doesn't want to show it? Or what if it's for religious purposes like mine? Okay. So you can't. Talk to the Chamber of Commerce. Yes, Why isn't it up to you guys, law enforcement? But you guys are here. So they can kick off a U.S. citizen from a public sidewalk? From a private event, yes. From a private event on a public sidewalk. Uh, we didn't have to register to come here. So I believe he's operating under the common misconception that a chamber of commerce is a public or a government entity. It absolutely is not. Chambers of commerce are private organizations, and what they do is they are there to advocate for the business side of the community. 
these kinds of events are really common all across the country, but especially in rural areas, because what they do is they give smaller vendors and smaller businesses the opportunity to be exposed to a larger portion of the population than they normally might be. The reason that they have a permit for this area, thank you for to this guy for pointing out that they have a permit, is because they have contracted with the city for a permit for this private event in this area. Is this out in the general public? Yeah. Do you need to register? No, that's stupid because it's open to the public. However, it is still a private event and as such, they can ask you to leave if you don't follow the rules. This is simple. This is something that you would learn in kindergarten. You follow the rules, you don't get in trouble. This would be similar to if you go to a public park and you reserve one of the cabanas for a birthday party. These two assholes walk into your cabana. You could call the police and have them removed because you reserved that cabana for your event. You never know. So they're enforcing someone's feelings. I'm Corporal O'Brien. Um, this is a private event. Okay? They can make the rules here. They rented basically this entire space it's out just me. the city. He's not him. He just got turned off for nowhere. I know, but now because you have the mat... The no, I'm wearing my mask for religious purposes. That's fine. It's a private event. They don't have to let you in here, okay? They said if you guys want to remove the mask, then... This is not a mask. And you could stay. I'm exercising my uh, First Amendment right okay. for, to, re to my faith. Okay, this is a private event and they're exercising their rights. To kick me out because of my religion? It's, it's a private event. They can do that. So who do I sue for their discrimination? The Chamber of Commerce. The Chamber of Commerce. So you can take it off and you can stay. I'm not taking you off mine. You can take it off and stay. Otherwise, you guys got to go. Where's the bar? Where's the bar? Can I have your name and badge number, sir? Yes, I'm Corporal O'Brien. It's ID 5605. Yeah, can I have your name and badge number, sir? Okay. So, so you're going to... We're not going to sit here and argue. It's either go or you're going to jail for trespassing. So trespassing on a public sidewalk? It's not public right now. This is a private yeah, event. You're welcome. Private event. Okay. So you're going to arrest me if I don't leave? Yes, for trespassing. 100%. All right. Where, okay. where, you can take the mask off and stay. You're more tell than welcome. So tell me where outside the event, so you can go north of... It's just right there, the stop sign. Yeah, so north of 3rd Street. You can, can stay outside there. there. Yep, you can stay there. You can go out onto Clovis so, Avenue, or you can go outside on Woodworth Avenue. Just, 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 north of that stop sign, right behind you. Yeah. So can, who gave you the, the directive, the order? The Chamber of Commerce. Can I have a name? Greg Newman. Greg Newman. Yep. You talked to him just now? Yep, right now. Okay, so I know who to sue for discriminating it against Absolutely. me. Absolutely. I'm wearing this for religious purposes, okay. and you, you guys are going to kick me out? Argue. You, you so, can take it off. Under the threat of arrest. And for trespassing, because they have the right. It's like if you walked into their home and they didn't I'm want not to in anybody's home, sir. But you're in their event. It's they have you an example them, so. of what it's like, okay? Correct. Saying you're in someone's home. It's giving you another example. But it's their event. They host the event. This is rented to them as a private event. They can determine who's going to be here and who's not. Because it's they have let us know that if you remove what you're wearing, they're okay with you staying. So this Correct. discriminating who could come here based on my religion. Can you tell them I'm wearing this? So they didn't call me. They called on him. No, they called us. Not on me. The complaint was against him. I just talked to Greg on the phone. Yeah. I let him know you were both out here, and that was the directive he gave. Can you call him again? Yes. I'm wearing this for religious we can do that purposes. Once we get outside, but are your body cams on? Yes, they are. You can talk to Greg Newman yourself. So you guys are ready for a lawsuit if you arrest me for me practicing my faith. My, my First Amendment right. We leave and take it up with Greg, or remove the mask. Under, if I don't leave, you're going to arrest me and take me to jail. Yes. So the more I listen to this guy, the more I doubt he has any kind of higher education at all, let alone a master's in psychology, because the very simple fact is a private organization cannot violate constitutional rights. The only way your constitutional rights can be violated is by the government. And that is not happening here. He is being asked to leave by the Chamber of Commerce because he is unwilling to follow their rules. I would love to to see him attempt to take this to court that he is wearing this rat on his face for any kind of religious reason. Yes. We're trespassing, we yes. We don't want to do that. Because I'm practicing my faith. Because you're trespassing. How do I contact this guy? He's asking you to leave. Yeah, but you can't explain to him I'm here practicing my faith and maybe he'll think twice about a lawsuit. Okay. This is my First Amendment right to practice my faith. If you go into somebody's business, they don't want you practicing I'm not in anybody's business. Yes, you are. This is their business right This now. is a public street. No, it's not right Look, now. I just want it's clarification. Right this is a private event. This is not open to the public. It's open to the public, public, but it's a private it's event. They have the right to refuse service. If, if you're willing to leave, they'll walk you out, and you're good to stay no, right by the stop sign. You're saying you're going to arrest me, right? If I stay here? Yes. Yes. All right, I'm out of here. Unless you take off the mask. Yeah, you can. So it's not a law. Okay. That's not a law. 
Okay, you guys wanna go with him? Make sure you get that. Okay, we're gonna go to you, so. So you're gonna, I'm walking away. Yeah, first we're of escorting all. you out. We're not yeah, gonna yeah, sit yeah. here and argue, okay? No, I'm not. Okay. But you guys are ready for the lawsuit. I told you, this. I'm willing this for religious purposes. Okay, like I said, you can't walk into that business and if they don't I'm want to- I'm not in a business, sir. This is a business, okay? This public sidewalk. This is not a public sidewalk. This is a private event. Okay, and, and the name was- for the right to operate their business was here. Craig Newman. Yes, sir. Is that who I sue and you guys too? Okay. I got your names and badge numbers, right? This is America, you sue whoever you want. So I'm being escorted out, escorted out by these tyrants for practicing my faith in public in the United States of America. In America, we're not allowed to practice our religion in a public space anymore. And it's not a public space. It is a public space. My lawyer will figure that out with Craig Newman. This is not a private event. I didn't have to register to walk on this public space. The vendors have to register, not me. There's no signs outside saying I can't come in. That's ridiculous. Very business to drop So I'm leaving under the threat of arrest or these tyrants are gonna take away my freedom for practicing my religion in a public space. Yeah, this guy is pathetic. Like, even beyond the normal frauditor, all this guy is doing is making a mockery of the Constitution. Because obviously this has nothing to do with the First Amendment, and this certainly doesn't have anything to do with freedom of religion. The First Amendment protects you from discrimination from the government from practicing whatever religion you choose to. He's not facing discrimination from the government. He is being asked to leave a private event because he won't take that rat off his face. And he's concealing his identity. Exactly like he says he does in his description box. You don't need to show it to them. You don't need a license. You do need a license. Do. Not to fly it. Yes, you do. No, you don't. To make to make money on uh, videos you make on the drone, you need a license. You don't need a license to fly a drone. No, you don't. It's not a commercial drone. No, you don't. And that's not enforced by the police anyway. This is the reason why they brought me out. I even asked them. Okay, the other rules is you can't fly it over a group of people like this. That's not true. Okay, that's space. What but you it's restricted, it's cool, it's not. That's only airplanes, and I mean at the airport and the prison. The FFA enforces those rules, not you guys. Yes, we do. No, you don't. Yes, do. What's local, the what? Local law enforcement can enforce the FFA rules. No, you don't. Yes, we can. Okay, so what are you gonna do? Me and him just went to the school. I just so, want, I want to be respectful with you. It's not yeah. a big deal. Just have a conversation. Well, you're making it a big deal. He's been harassed two times now by you guys. So far, these guys have been. 100% wrong on everything that has come out of their mouth. Like, not even half right. This guy's saying, well, you can't fly over the airport or the prison. Yeah, those are two places you can't fly over. But that right there is the California ordinance that says you can't fly over human beings either. Which he says is not true. So either lack of research, lack of intelligence, whatever it is, these two are probably some of the stupidest I've seen so far. Or, or no, we were told to come have a conversation. We got we nothing but love over there. Everybody's been loving me except one guy, okay. and then the fire started. Okay, but if there's FAA rules that you know, prohibit you from flying over a crowd of people like You're not from the FFA. Okay, I just told you the penalty is a fine. Local, he gets fined. Okay, local law enforcement can educate what's the What's the ordinance? What's the local law? Okay. Um, are you with him or no? I'm not answering okay. questions. Perfect. That's awesome. I don't want to ask any of you. Okay. Do you not interrupt you our conversation that, with him uh, any more than were you please? fine with the conversation you had previous to this? No. But I would have to get to a supervisor. They're going to find me or yeah. they're going to say, if you don't take off the mask, they're going to arrest me. Who said that? Those tyrants back there. The guy with the cowboy hat. Okay. Um, here's the deal. If you fly the drone again, um, we'll have to look up the code to give you a citation for it, and then we're going to take your drone. Okay. So don't fly the drone anymore. Ever? No, nah, just not well, today just, here. They can't take your personal property. Oh, no, okay. Yeah, we can. No, you can't. Yes, can. Not if he committed a crime. He, he has a right to uh, not be searched or his property seized. You guys are already re uh, violated my religious freedom in there. You kicked me out over my beard that I wear for religious same, freedom. Same you guys. I mean him. Well, you guys are all the same tyrants with guns. I that think you can boss us around. Try, try to get me arrested. I'm not trying to arrest you. Oh, whatever. I'm just trying to I don't want to arrest you. You can't play the drone. I could. 
Are you going to play the drone again today here? Not here. We were taking off okay. before you guys interrupted us. All right, sounds good. What if I go way over there and do it? I'm not going to be looking for you That's over there. That's what I mean. Calls in and says, you guys are just a trying to get some stuff down. Let's, let's okay. get them for uh, hey, a big the, dr the here. drone. Let's get them for the drone. Nope. You no, know what's about the recording? Do any, of, any of that right now. What's your name about, please? Officer Gear Media 5841. You can see it right there. Just tell me. I don't have any visual reason. All right, see, if you, see, you don't want to play games. What if he has a disability and he can't see or read? You want to play games? He has, not me. Right. You guys want to play the cute games. You came up to us. You came up to us. come talk to you. And you're trying to make this an issue. No, I'm not. We know our rights. That's what it is. No drone today here. Under the threat of what? I'm going to take his drone if he doesn't. You're going to take his personal property from him without consent for not committing a crime. No need consent. It's not a crime. You understand? I'm going to take it. So if you do it again, it's going to go with us. Okay? And you can figure it out later with the property room and the AA if you're going to get it back. Okay? Are we on the same page? I'm not on the same page. Okay. If you fly the drone again. I'm taking off. Just leave me alone. Sounds good. Cool. Thank you. Fly here, it's coming with us. All right, you gotta find me first, though. They, they don't enforce drone laws. The the I'm gonna, hi I'm gonna hide. Okay. These guys don't enforce drone laws. They just time. make empty threats. They make empty threats. If I take off the mask and I fly the drone. Hey guys, I have a question. Is that a private event? Is that a big hat day? Is a private event, or is it a public event? Right, but uh, is it a private event? Yes. It's a private. So do we have to register? How do we enter? We gotta go to the Chamber of Commerce and sign up. Chamber of Commerce, that's it. Hey, man. Come on, guys. This guy can't possibly still be that stupid that he doesn't understand that this is a private event. It may be open to the public, but to take place in this event, to attend this event, you have to obey their rules because if you don't, the privilege of attending that event is going to be taken away from you, which is exactly what happened. Thanks for watching, guys. Please like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you would like to see, and I will catch you on the next one.